What's up everybody? My voice might sound a little weird. I had a bunch of dental work done earlier this week, but I am determined to work on this car whether it's going to rain or not. And it is currently sprinkling, so that's not cool, but I'm bored. Um, I have the key to this car, but things are janky on it. And I had initially locked myself out of the car, but didn't know it. So I just had to break into the car with this screwdriver. And uh, I already let Emmett in. As you can see, he's in there checking things out. But now we can get inside of Fritz. While I was standing outside of Fritz, I went ahead and uh, you can probably see the window there. I took all of the trim off because it was just flapping in the wind. And it's in perfect condition. Just needs to be polished up. So I'm going to take a look at these door cards while we're here. And... Um, any of the trim I can maybe take off before it starts, it's really starting to sprinkle now. So uh, I'm going to try and maybe take off. This is kind of flapping in the breeze. So I might take these off. That way they don't magically disappear or get any more damage than they are. And um, the bumpers will come off. That ain't happening today because it's raining. So uh, yeah, but this is kind of a quick rundown on what we're looking at for Fritz. We didn't get a that's I didn't notice that before we didn't get a super good look at him the other day because we were just loading him up and getting him home and that was like a three or four hour ordeal but yeah this is a uh, uh oh yeah so this door is a little apparently this door has been replaced <sighs> nice before uh but it's rusty and saggy yeah there you go magic that'll do and so I don't want to say the front floor pans are fine, but they're there. They're solid. Uh, now the back, that, well, yeah, I've only got one hand to film with. So you can just kind of imagine, you can see that. And then that is green grass right there. So that's what's going on there. And we'll go around to the other side. And you can see that it is even worse on the other side. Well, what you think, buddy? in the back but and maybe i'll cut back to uh my other video of dijon my other beetle my 68 um he has no floor pan at all like you can just see fred flintstone straight through there he is in far worse shape and he also has no transaxle and no motor and guess what Fritz has both of those in spades and apparently the tune-up on this thing was 09 uh, I guess even though it's been sitting for longer than that according to him but no in play that I can feel there clearly gonna need a new belt uh, oh it looks well, I know it looks a little black there, but it's there, and it's full, so that's a plus. Come on, shaky crack can. That's cool. Um, so no in-play and oil is good. I was told the tune-up was 09, the cap was 09, so, uh, well... I think, he didn't seem to think that if you hit it with some battery and some Marvel Mystery Oil and a little bit of loving that it was going to crank up. That's not good when the previous owner doesn't seem to think it's going to start. Um, but, I don't know, I disagree. I mean, just based on what I know about Volkswagens, I mean, just, I don't know. I, I think with a little bit of loving, this bad boy's going to fire off. And, of course, it's got standard... You know, but that's part of it. And, you know, that's a lot of what gives these cars their charm is that they can be mint condition or they can be beat ass up. And, um, wow, I really do sound like the kid from Stranger Things. Uh, yeah, they can be beat up and everybody loves them. Either way, it doesn't matter. So now I'm the proud owner of a 68 and a 72. And the cool thing about this 72 is that it is pre-Super Beetle. 
So, uh, I believe that's accurate. I wish I could just, like, eyeball these things like a lot of dudes can and be like, well, this is that and that's that. But I'm learning to go off the taillights and some of the trim and accessories and stuff like that. I used to be really into Beatles when I was younger, but I didn't keep that knowledge in my brain due to drugs and other things. Um, my first car was a 66 and my second car was a 74 Super Beetle, but before I could really love them like I should have, I sold them and moved on to a Monte Carlo and, you know, if I had known then what I know now, but it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of Fritz because I'm bored, but the rain is getting heavier and you can see he's... He'd been around and he's been in Tallahassee, I think, his entire life, I believe. And this is a pretty red. I don't know if it just aged that way and that's the color that it turned, but that's a Florida Florida State University sticker. Now, I, me and Florida State, I'm from South Florida, so, you know, hurricanes go Miami. But that, I'm going to leave on there. I'm going to leave all these cool vintage stickers on there. And um, I probably won't do a whole lot with the body except for get it sturdy enough to drive. But the next thing really is uh, check out this motor. Yeah, look in the back. You can probably see that it has two Jensen, what appear to be four by sixes or something like that in the back. And um, yeah, I touched all the knobs and stuff. They are... They're a weird consistency. That's all I can really say is that they're mushy and smushy. I guess just from moisture and the type of plastic they use back in the day. But, um, yeah. And I still haven't seen underneath the hood because, or the bonnet or whatever you want to call it. Because, uh, just like on my other Beetle, the latch on this one is busted. And the cord that you got to pull does not want to release it. And we had to bust out the glove compartment on the other one, but it was already trashed. But this one is not trashed, and I'd rather not bust it out if I didn't have to. So I'm going to try and grab the cord with a pair of pliers and see if I can pull it myself and possibly get it open and see what we have underneath the hood. Alright, so I got the trim <laughs> off. It's not that I live in a bad neighborhood, it's just I've seen what happened to my buddy's house and uh, they took all of his stuff. <laughs> so I'm not really trying to have that. And it's starting to rain pretty good. So we're going to hidey hole this stuff for a minute. We'll come back to this when the weather is more agreeable, but as a general rundown, needs rear floorboards. I mean, it needs a lot of stuff, but it's a lot closer than Dijon is. Um, yeah, because it's motor and trans, so anyway, this is Fritz, and uh, one day, the dream is to have him cruising around, looking a lot like he does now, but safe and legal. So, uh, yeah, until next time, don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. And um, tell me what you think. And if you got a beetle, tell me what you're doing to yours. And let's get this community going. Ever since I started posting my classic Beatles stuff, I've met a whole bunch of new people, a whole bunch of new YouTubers, and I think that's cool. So I think we need to get this community going. So I want to hear from you guys and what your projects are. Oh yeah, by the way, there's I got them all off except for that one. I don't have the tool uh, to get it off, and it might be in the car somewhere, but I haven't found it yet, and I'm not trying to mess with the weather currently, so... Uh, it wasn't working with the old screwdriver, and I don't want to damage them, so that's not the correct way to do it anyway. Um, and I did, I opened this up, but I closed it back already. Uh, the gas cap has basically welded itself on with rust, so, you know, add that to the list. I think the biggest problem with this car is that it's going to be relatively floppy because the it's weird the way, it's like the 
metal just absorbed the, the water, if that makes any sense. This car is very... It's, the interior is dry. I mean, the exterior is dry. It's just, it's got a very musty kind of deal to it. Everything about it has been sitting up next to a house for the last 25 years. So, I mean, you can see, like, that is not paint. That is uh, mold, <laughs> basically, like fungus off of one of those trees that they have so many of in Tallahassee. Uh, so, yeah. And, you know, I just hit this with the pressure washer, and it took most of that gunk off, and that was just straight grodiness. But the glass is pretty good. I mean, the front window is the only thing that needs replaced, and the seals on the rear windows were clearly the... They've been replaced. Like, look at this. I think I pointed that out earlier, but that's alive in there. Like, that's what I'm saying. Everything about this car has moss and moisture about it um so i'm i'm hoping it's not too floppy soggy i don't really know what the word is i'm looking for um to make it drivable again but i've seen them in worse shape than this driving around so for sure if i can get that motor cracking the rest of it is you know that's the simple part i mean if you look at the at the cotter pins even though the castle nuts are real grody i think he said that he just did the wheel bearings but you never know how accurate that is too so um but you know the the cotter pin looks pretty shiny <laughs> if that's any indication uh all right guys until next time um another fritz the beetle video thumbs up subscribe like love beetle life stay tuned Later, taters. Right, doggy? All right, good talk.